Number one, we're gonna go over the step-by-step -step LLC setup within 30 minutes with Get em Giannis. And then I'm gonna talk about OPM, other people's money. Who's heard of that rap song? How to leverage your credit, okay? Um, how to invest in your first ATM and all that jazz. And then we're gonna wrap it up with the ATM giveaway announcement update, guys. Hey guys, welcome to another live here inside of ETM Business for Beginners. My name is Paul Alex, founder of ETMtogether.com. I'm Gerem Jonas. I am a consultant with ATM, Begin ATM Beginners or ATM for Beginners. It's one of those days, man. I apologize. <laughs> Need yeah, he, 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 he needs to drink his cup of coffee, you know. I do, uh, I do. <laughs> it's, it's, it's definitely been a busy week, guys. Yeah. Um, I know that everybody is getting back from Memorial Day weekend. Uh, whether you traveled out of town, whether you stayed in town and worked, um, we were working behind the scenes. Trust me, um, it's not stop for us just because the mass amount of clients that we work with and we're trying to do the best for them. Anyways, welcome to this live training today, guys. I'm very excited because me and Gadam, we actually have a pretty good presentation for you. OK, and we're going to get into that in just a second. So before I get into that, let's go ahead. What city and state are you guys from? All right. I got a rep where I'm from. I'm from the Bay Area. I'm actually in the Bay Area right now, guys. I had a little family emergency. I had to come see moms, make sure she's cool. And then uh, at the end of the day, I'm going to be here for the entire week. And then I'm going to fly back down south. Enjoy probably some tacos uh, on Friday, you know, uh, down That's in San tough. Diego. And uh, hopefully it's about. hot down there. Right. So uh, get them. Get him. Where, where are you from, brother? Man, I'm from the Bay Area, too. A little, little city they call San Jose. If anybody has an iPhone, you know where that's at. That's where they came from, right? <laughs> I think, Paul, you're from San Francisco, right? Yep, yep. We, we always had the rivalry. Francisco. Always yeah. had the rivalry, right? <laughs> I see Dallas. Yep. You see Dallas in the house, too. Very cool, very cool. Where else? Let's, where's our East Coast people? Atlanta, okay, cool. Who else do we got? Man, you guys got to show some love. You got to see where you guys are from. Nobody from the East Coast, right? I, I'm, I'm, all starting Warriors see, fans. I'm starting to see uh, ATL. Uh, yeah. We got somebody who just came back from vacation, says ATL. Mm -hmm. Yeah, th that Warriors game, man, that's going to be uh, that's gonna be something. That's yeah. going to be something. That starts actually on Thursday. Um, fortunately, that's the day I leave uh, from the Bay Area. So otherwise, yeah. I would have caught a game, you know? That's going to be uh, wild. But, but I'm, I'm going for the Warriors all day, guys. Course, all right, guys. So, so with that, if you guys have been in the group for the past couple of weeks, uh, make sure to check out our ATM masterclass, which is happening on June 12th at 1 p.m. Eastern time. Um, if there's a dedicated group on Facebook just for this masterclass, we did a masterclass last year around Halloween, and it was phenomenal, guys. We gave an entire ATM business away. That same client who won that ATM business now has nine locations, guys. So maybe that'll be like your day. Maybe that'll be that one opportunity that one of you guys who are watching this are going to be able to get that kick in the butt or that little push or that, that, that good friend that's like, let's go, let's do this, right? And then ultimately, you're going to go ahead and conquer your city, right? Build your ATM empire. So go ahead. We're going to drop the link down in the comments. I already told my guys to drop the link down in the comments, guys. And then you guys could go ahead and check it out. Now, there is a deadline, guys. I'm going to say this towards the end of the presentation as well. There is a deadline for the master class. Right now, it is 40% off. Okay. Extreme value. We're giving away yeah. three ATM businesses, guys, over $35,000. Over $35,000. No one else is doing that in the market. No one. Okay, guys. So we're really here to help you guys out, help the community and get people started. Okay. It's awesome. It's a phenomenal business, especially if you want to make this uh, your own main niche, replace your nine to five, or you want to do this as a side hustle. Either way it goes. Okay. This business is for everybody. Yeah. Um, okay. So what else? Do I we still have? remember. I still remember last year's masterclass. You said we we're going to get a break, man. You were just, let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah. There was so much value. Mike was on there too, I think, right? Yep. Oh, that's yep. ridiculous. I mean, the amount of value in that masterclass was, you guys are going to like this live. You're going to like the masterclass too. Yeah, absolutely, guys. So, I mean, we, we bring out the whole team for this masterclass. 
everybody, not just me, not just Mike. We're talking about everybody, okay? So you guys are going to enjoy this. You guys are going to meet the ATM Together team, and you guys are going to get a lot of value because that's what it's about. It's about helping sure. you guys. At the end of the day, money doesn't matter. It's about you, okay? All right, so let's go ahead with our backgrounds, why you should be listening to us, okay, guys? So once again, my name is Paul Alex, founder of ATMtogether.com and ATM Business for Beginners. Now, I started my ATM business approximately a little bit over five years ago, guys. I was working as a detective, literally 60 to 100 hours a week. I'm not kidding. Blood money, straight up, right? So at the end of the day, um, as I was getting older, I finally realized that money is not everything. And even though I um, was able to live a certain lifestyle because I worked so hard, it just finally something, I, I, I came to a crossroads. I came to a crossroads that ultimately I was just like, you know what? I work too hard for my money and I'm not moving anywhere. I felt like I wasn't progressing guys. So at the end of the day, I mean, you hear this from everybody, you hear this from celebrities, you hear this from uh, self-made millionaires, billionaires. Um, but I've heard this so many times and it finally clicked that day. I heard that the day that you actually start making money is the day that you're making money while you sleep. So ultimately that's where, um, entrepreneurship came into play. I've always been an entrepreneur since the age of 18. Um, little side hustles here and there, <laughs> club promotions, um, uh, freaking uh, websites, um, you name it, I did it. I was all about the side hustles, guys. So at the end of the day, I understand the struggle. Okay, serial entrepreneur myself for more than a decade. With that being said, start with one ATM, expanded to 30 ATMs within 18 months. I did that by leveraging my credit. I did that by networking. And overall, I have a little bit of, you could say, history with sales. So at the end of the day, I leveraged all that. I leveraged all my resources, guys. I'm no one special, okay? So at the end of the day, I don't come from money and all that jazz. I leveraged what I have, and I grew a sustainable business. A sustainable business where I was able to walk away from a good career, guys. I was a detective uh, for five out of the seven years I was in law enforcement, okay? No joke. You're probably like, man, you look too young to be a, a, a detective because I get that all the time. But I'm going to tell you right now, the way it was, I'm a hard worker. So with that, I just used that hard work and I put it towards building my own business because at the end of the day, you got to look out for yourself. No one else will. Trust me. Okay. So from there, I created ATMtogether.com. Brought all my resources, hit up, get them. As, as you're going to see, get them. <laughs> Getum was like, um, he, he's an entrepreneur himself. He's more in the crypto space, which he'll tell you about his background in just a little bit. But with that being said, I put together a dream team, a dream team where now we've expanded over a thousand clients nationwide, guys. We're from Cali. We're some Cali boys. Okay. So we've expanded everywhere from West Coast to East Coast. We even got international folks trying to hit us up where we're like, we can't do it. Sorry. But at the end of the day, we want everybody to win, okay? That's what it's about, guys. You guys see us over here with our coffee. We're not playing. I've been up since 4 a.m., all right? Had to take care of moms. Now I got to take care of business. My mom right now, she's waiting for me for dinner. So, all right, <laughs> that's, that's enough of my story. Go ahead, get them. That's cool. Yeah, guys, get them, Jonas, ATM together. Man, happy to be here. A little bit about myself. My parents are immigrants, right? That, that's probably half of the story of people in America. We were founded by immigrants. Beautiful thing, right? So came over, we had nothing. At the end of the day, I thought powdered milk was normal, right? I didn't know. I thought there's supposed to be chunks in your cereal and I'm not talking about Cocoa Puffs, right? You got that so, Holiday Inn Express special, man. That's, and, <laughs> and I actually always wonder like, why are we putting the milk in the lower cupboard when the guests come over, right? So told myself, grew up, parents took care of everything. Family, like I said, and immigrants. And I thought to myself, you know what? I want to be able to provide for my family, right? Respect to my parents. They did the best they can and they set the foundation. Like Paul said, hard worker, same thing. My whole thing, it's not necessarily about being hard work. I just do the same thing over and over until it works, right? I'm hard headed. So turned 18, days after my birthday, joined the Marine Corps, right? Shout out to all my veterans. It was a Memorial Day weekend and it was Memorial Day. If you were a veteran below, comment veteran below. Guys, I just had a sixth moment for this. Comment veteran below just to give a shout out quick for our veterans. Okay. So joined the military after that. Didn't really know what I wanted to do. I knew college wasn't for me, right? A little extra school, got into some government employments, a few different alphabet soup things. 
and all of a sudden got into a good paying career, right? Made some investments. The rule of thumb I always remembered, especially from some mentors was, hey, keep it private until you succeed, okay? Invested in crypto. I was that tinfoil hat guy, right? <laughs> that guy at the bar, we are like, hey, hey, just go ahead and enjoy your drinks over there, please. Stop talking about yep. it. 2016, all of a sudden, years later, joined the two comma club, okay? In case you guys didn't know, two different commas behind the money amount, right? Expanded into some businesses, a few investments. Paul brought me on as a consultant, and I'm happy to hear, be here, get you to that level too. Thanks for having me, Paul. Yeah, absolutely, man. I always love hearing your story, bro. It's a, it's very inspiring, especially for everybody in the crypto space. All right, guys, mm -hmm. if you guys want more information on crypto, go ahead and comment crypto. That's going to be C-R-Y-P-T-O. Get them. I'm sure when he does find time later tonight, he'll go mm -hmm. ahead and reach out to you, shoot you a little free guide um, on, on his crypto program that he has or whatnot. It is very valuable, guys. All right. Okay. So let me ask real quick, who wants a free guide? Okay, who wants a free guide and mini course? All right, go ahead and comment me. That's gonna be M E, comment me, and I'm gonna have my guys go ahead and reach out to you. They're gonna shoot you a DM, they're gonna give you the link to the mini course, and they're gonna give you the free guide. And I, as, as I'm saying this, I'm reading the comments as I go, right? I try to multitask. <laughs> guys, I understand for some of you that are watching this on your lunch break, I appreciate you. Thank you for showing me that love. But I will shoot you the replay tomorrow morning. So if you got to go, you got to go. All right. <laughs> we got it. We got it. We got to make sure that you guys get all the resources on here so we can provide you as much, as much value before we get into it. All right, guys. Okay. So I like to say this motivational quote before we get started. People rarely succeed unless they have fun in what they're doing. And that's true, guys, because we have fun with you guys. We're having fun with this. Who hasn't seen a live where, I mean, we're just having a casual conversation, right? We're just talking. So at the end of the day, we like to keep it real. We like to uh, interact with all of our clients, our community, all, all of our potential people, entrepreneurs that actually want to invest into the ATM business because it's a phenomenal industry. It really is, uh, especially if you're already an entrepreneur. But if you're a nine to five, trust me, we ain't forget about you. I got something for you towards the end of this presentation, all right? So with that being said, here is our agenda for this presentation, guys, okay? Number one. We're going to go over the step-by-step -step LLC setup within 30 minutes with Get em Yes. All right. And then I'm going to talk about OPM, other people's money. Who's heard of that rap song? How to leverage your credit. Okay. Um, how to invest in your first ATM and all that jazz. So I'm going to go into that and then we're going to wrap it up with the ATM giveaway announcement update guys. Okay. we got an update for the ATM giveaway, uh, which is going to be phenomenal. And you guys are going to enjoy this. So get them, go ahead and take it away, boss. Awesome, awesome, awesome. If you guys are excited to start your LLC, this might be your first time. Told totally you I was in the same boat. If you're excited to learn how to form your LLC, you can do it live right now. Take down a pencil, open a new tab, do something. I'm going to show you step by step. Comment LLC below. Again, if you want me to show you how to start your LLC literally right now, the fastest way, the most effective, cost effective way comment LLC below, help people get on the live. There's people watching on Instagram, people watching on Facebook. We want to spread this information for everybody. Okay. So let me share my screen, see if this works. All right. LLCs. Okay. Limited liability company, limited liability corporation, depending on you say it's what it is, is a business entity, right? So you're probably wondering why you're on Inc files website. Well, They've been the fastest when it comes to helping you form your LLC. There's all these different options out there. You can have an attorney do it, a CPA, there's different websites, but based on our training, based on our experience forming different businesses, I know Paul launched another business within 30 minutes, right? So Inkfile has been tried and true. That's why I always recommended we are not associated with them, okay? Because at the end of the day, when it comes to forming your business, the rule of thumb is this, success favors speed. You want to make moves, make decisive actions very quickly and adjust accordingly, right? With a few military references, the veterans in here, you understand what I'm saying too, okay? So reason why you want to have your LLC, biggest thing is protection, okay? Yes, you, you want to protect your assets, whether it's a car, whether it's a million dollar home, whatever it is, protect it, right? Because at the end of the day, 
anything can happen. It's the same reason why you have car insurance. So an LLC creates a separate entity to protect your assets. So that way, if anything happens, cool. It's just the business's responsibility, all right? LLCs, the reason why I recommend it, it's simple. At the end of the day, there's different business entity types. There's S corporation elections, there's C corporations. You can be a sole proprietor. I can go on and on with the different types and the reasons why. I say LLCs because it's simple, fastest to form, and you can always change to something else later if you decide to, okay? Now, let's do the step-by-step. Inkfile, inkfile.com. They have been the fastest, always recommend it. You can start with this, okay? So before we get started, right? Biggest thing you want to remember is the N-A-I-C-S code, okay? Don't worry what it stands for. It doesn't even matter. Just write down this code right now. And all of our consultants, please type it in the comments. It is 522-320, okay? It's an extremely important code to remember, 522-320. I'll tell you a quick story. One of our clients, not going to name them, they paid for some attorneys to file their LLC for them. They could not figure out what the NAICS code was. They hopped on a quick call with us. I said, hey, it's, this is the code. It's free info. Here you go. Because at the end of the day, this is the most appropriate. It's just a classification for your business when you're getting into ATMs. Now, you're probably wondering, well, hey, get them. What if I have an additional LLC already? A lot of our entrepreneurs are in this. They want to expand to ATMs. Not a big deal. Just make sure it is current. When it comes down to LLC, we're going to find the bank for you anyway. So it doesn't matter. As long as it's existing, you can use that for the ATM business also. Okay. Things you want to have before you start, though, you want to remember, hey, what's the name of your business going to be? Okay. That's probably one of the most important things also, because it takes the creativity side. And once you become an entrepreneur, you start to realize it's not about following the rules, but being creative. Okay. So you want to know what name you're going to name your business. Okay. You want to know where that business is going to be located. I'll get into that later. And then you want to have all the information of everybody that's going to be a part of the business, whether that's your wife, whether that's your husband, your brother, your brother-in-law, doesn't matter. Have their information ready to go while you're following. Okay. So inkfile.com's website. First steps first, they're going to ask you, like I said, different options. We're going to choose LLC. Choose the state of formation appropriately also. Okay. So typically it's going to be the same state you're in. A lot of different members actually are expanding their ATM businesses elsewhere. Choose the state where that business is going to be at. Okay. Now I'm going to save you a lot of money right now. Okay. They're going to ask you which package you want. Notice how they're only showing the first two. Check this out. Scroll down and there's this one called the silver package. Choose the silver package. You don't need the upsell, all that extra stuff, because at the end of the day, just pay the state filing fee, save some money, okay? So we choose the silver package. And the first thing they're gonna ask you is, well, what's your contact information? This is internal for ink file. They're gonna save it for adding it later also, but just put your contact info. Get your email address also. And then your phone number, just in case they need to contact you for some other stuff. So we get all this information in and they're asking you for a mailing address. Again, this is for your personal mailing address, right? And then if you guys have any questions, like glaring questions that I haven't covered yet, make sure you drop it down in the comments below. I will actually read the comments while I'm doing this too. Multitask also, okay? So my mailing address, I'm just gonna make up a fake address. I don't need any postcards, guys, but we'll, we'll, we'll stick to San Francisco, San Francisco, all right? Now, so you got all my contact information down. They have a suggested address that's going to come from the U.S. Postal Service. We'll use that. Now, they're going to ask, California, this is taking a little while. I always say pay the extra $50 for expedited because at the end of the day, it's worth the time. You don't want to sit around and wait for an LLC to come back because you can't even open your bank account until then. And it slows down your progress. Take advantage of the momentum. Okay. Now, you need a name. Like I said, this is, this is one of the toughest parts. I'm not going to lie. Okay. Because when it comes down to it, like I'm not the most creative guy. I used to always be about following different rules. So think of a name. It doesn't have to have ATM in it. And especially if you want to expand to different industries in the future, you can use this LLC for those other businesses also. So you might want to keep it broad. I will keep it extremely simple and say, get them ATM services. So we type in the LLC name. They're also going to check for you to make sure it's available. They're going to ask you for the designator. Okay. This does not matter, but whatever you choose, you want to be consistent, whether it comes to any business paperwork, when it comes to the IRS, 
the bank information, make sure the designator is the same. So I don't like to remember periods, things like that. So I just keep it LLC just to keep it as simple. And they'll actually give you a display name also. And they're going to ask you how many members. And remember what I said about having the information of everyone on hand? I'm going to be by myself. So it's just going to be by myself. But if you have more than one, they're going to ask on the next page for their contact information also because you need to file it. So for most of us, it's just going to be one. We'll keep it to this. They ask you for the business purpose. Remember, this is just a synopsis, right? I don't need an autobiography, just a quick recap of what your ATM, what your business does. Okay. So for this, I'm going to say provide ATM services in the state of California. Now, got this down, and then they're going to ask you what industry your business belongs in. Remember that code I mentioned before, 522320. Ink file changed their website. They made it a little more complicated where it's harder to find that code. So you might have to look up ATM or something similar because sometimes when you look it up, it doesn't pop up. But especially in your state, sometimes it looks a little different. Remember, whatever you type in, the code should turn out to be 522320. And they'll ask you right here. And you notice it's for automated teller machines. Whichever one you choose doesn't matter as long as it's within that code, okay? So now they're gonna ask you how it's gonna be managed. So here's the thing, right? There's different ways to think of it. If you choose one manager, look at it as like a CEO. You are electing someone to take charge. If you're by yourself, it's going to be member managed for the most part, okay? If you have multiple people, a part of your LLC, and you have different roles and responsibilities, and it's not equally split among each other, so say there's five of you guys, different family members, and one person is going to be the primary person that takes care of it, and everyone else is potentially silent investors. They're actually providing you with the funds. Someone's the cash for the ETM, someone for the actual ETM, things like that. Then it might be manager managed, but for the most part, like Inkfile says, 99% of the time, it's gonna be member managed, okay? And then they're gonna ask you for the address. Remember what I mentioned before, right? I like to say, keep it private until you succeed. I'm a big proponent of virtual business addresses. Quick recap of what that is. Look at it this way. So there's different ways you can put your actual business, right? So on one hand, you can do the old school method, filing it at your home address. But remember, it is public record. So whatever you put on there is available on the state website, okay? It's not really a big deal, but for me, I like to keep it private so you can get a virtual business address. Think of it as you renting an actual office space. Nowadays, you know, rent's expensive. I know I looked online recently and rent, I mean, in the Bay Area, you're looking at $3,000 just for one bedroom. So imagine a single office space. Do you really want to pay $800 a month from an office you're not going to be in? So there's another alternative, a virtual business address. And what that is, is imagine a commercial building and somebody had a great idea and said, you know what, I'm just going to split this address into 5,000 different addresses for you to be able to use it. Okay. That's what a virtual business address is. You're typically going to pay monthly. Inkfile offers a service. There's different businesses that offer it. If you decide to use another business, make sure you sign up for the virtual business address first before filing for your LLC. I'm going to stick with Inkfiles. I'm going to allow them to do it. So it's about $29 a month. They will assign an address for you later. Okay. And then they're going to have an upsell. Keep it simple. You don't need any of this. The EIN is free. You don't need business contracts either. So I'll pass on this. Now, Member one, that's going to be myself. Like I said, I'm the only person part of this business. So I'm going to have my information here. Like I said, they can use the company's address to file for you. I'll choose that option. So whatever address they give for me, I'm going to use that as my address. So my information is secret. No one can see it on the state website. And I have 100% ownership of this company. If you have more than one person, do the percentages accordingly. Okay. I see a personal mail walks. Nancy, very good question. So yes and no for personal mailboxes. When it comes down to it, remember this. Technically, you can't file a business at a personal mailbox, okay? And usually those addresses are flagged because so many different people come in and out of those. Like the rotation is so quick. So that's why the virtual business address, what that is, is a company saying that you are allowed to use our address as your business address and in theory, you would go there to visit there to do your business work. But realistically, with work from home, that's the justification. You're not going there. So with PO boxes, with actual personal mailboxes, those usually get flagged. So it may get approved initially. But on the back end, the state will say, hey, we recognize this as a PO box. You're not allowed to do that. 
Same thing with the IRS when you got to get when you want to get your EIN, they're going to flag that it's not going to work. Okay. Another thing you're going to need is a registered agent. Okay. You don't have to use a registered agent service. What a registered agent is is a person that receives official correspondence for your business. Think of tax documents, any legal paperwork, things like that. You just need to have somebody on file. Think of it like this. Say you have a thousand people a part of your business, like Coca-Cola. There needs to be one person that receives all the official documentation for that business. It can be an attorney. It could be a registered agent like Inkfile. That's what I personally use, whatever you choose. For today, we're going to have Inkfile do it. So get this. I don't need Inkfile to get my EIN number for me also. Reason being, it's free from the IRS. I'm not, you don't need to pay the $70, okay? Save some money. A penny saved is a penny earned at the end of the day. Let's get your business profitable as soon as possible, okay? Now, chose to do this. Don't need the business account either because at the end of the day, as Paul mentioned, these big banks they partner with will not work with an ATM account. So it's not worth your time. Won't need the tax advice, which you'll probably ask for either. Now, next thing is gonna be the delivery method. So you could choose snail mail, which is FedEx Express. It's going to take a little time extra. But like I said, success favors speed. So I like to do electronic delivery. You can print it out later. That way, when the, AT, the actual LLC is formed, you get a quick email for it. Get your EIN number right off the bat and go straight to the bank to open that account. Now, they're going to ask you for a few different options, consultations, things like that. You don't need it. Okay. Save you some money. Save you some time. You don't need that. And you also don't need the licenses somehow some way right and paul can attest to this they always find six licenses in every state i mean they must be looking through some encyclopedias or something but i don't know what's going on you don't need the licenses either i'll save you some time i'll save you some money also okay so then it's one of the more important aspects of this okay review okay as they say like as any carpenters in here right any construction workers right measure twice cut once Double check your work, okay? I don't want to sound like I'm beating a dead horse, but at the end of the day, double check. Because once you file it, you'll have some grace period to talk to Inkfile. Just don't mess it up the first time. You might as well take your time. Make sure this thing is accurate and file, okay? So making sure be, right off the bat, the LLC information is right. The contact information, I have it here. You'll notice it has the address for me. But when it comes to the state information, they're going to assign me an address in the back end, okay? Agent information, that's correct. Company information. So they're going to provide me with a company address, as you see right here. So you won't have it immediately. Usually they'll send you a follow-up email to schedule a Zoom call with a notary to get that set squared away. And then, of course, the NAICS code, 522-320. 522-320. Okay. Now, member information, that's correct. Like I said, if you have more than one person a part of your business, there's going to be additional information present there also. Okay. I'm the only person, typically married couples, they'll even file by themselves also. It's going to have your information there. That's correct. And then, of course, one of the most important parts, and this is the when it comes to tax advice also, it's not tax advice, but this is going to be a business expense. So keep track of this expense. When you file your LLC, you're going to claim it on the back end for your taxes. Okay. This may be your first business expense ever. I'm excited for you. Remember, you're doing this for a reason. Maybe you want to change your life situation, right? Maybe things aren't going too well. Your, your job might not be the best. This is your first step towards that, okay? Because think of it this way. If you keep thinking about something daily, you might as well take action, right? Because it's going to gnaw at the back of your head. So make, this, make the move towards your future, file your LLC, and get started with the ATM business, okay? Now, Paul. Hey, hey get it. Yeah. Get them. So, so before you uh, you cut out, brother, let's go ahead and answer some questions that some some of our uh, uh, clients have on here. So the first Thanks, question brother. is going to be from Johnny. Johnny is saying, "How much is it to use Ink Files registered agent?" Yeah. So their first year is typically free, right? And then after that, I believe it's a hundred dollars or one hundred twenty dollars a year. Okay, double check on their website, but that's for their service. However, after the first year, you can also amend it where you don't use them. You can use your own service also, or use yourself as an agent for free. Okay, so you can take advantage of that first year for free and change it on the back end if you want to. Okay. 
Oh, yeah, guys. Gosh. So the next next one, uh, can you send the LLC information? So guys, if you're coming in late, uh, we're going to have the replay for this tomorrow morning for you guys, or actually we're going to have it right after the live is over with. So you guys can replay that if you want. These replays are usually an hour and then you can just, you can just cut through the, the part that you actually want to watch. With that being said, um, what the database that we use, the website is Inc file. That's going to be I N C F I L E.com. Now you can go ahead and use your state's website. You could go ahead and use whatever you want. At the end of the day, this is what we use. Like I said, speed equals success to us. So we know that this is one of the fastest websites to get your LLC. Um, I know California is having some hiccups, so nothing is perfect, guys, right? Uh, with that being said, uh, make sure you do your due diligence. You make sure you do your own research, right? Um, and then we also had uh, another question. Uh, get them. Yeah. We had a client ask. She has a EIN for a nonprofit organization. Is she going to be able to use that um, for the ATM business? No. So your EIN... <clears throat> <clears throat> just to be clear, so your EIN stands for, in case anybody doesn't know, great question, appreciate it. So employee identification number. So think of it as your social security number for your business, right? Because at the end of the day, right, the only thing permanent is taxes, right? The tax man want to, wants to make sure they're going to get paid, okay? That's why you're filing the LLC at the end of the day, so they can, they can get paid too. So when it comes to the EIN, it's going to be assigned to that business. Whenever you change your business type, you're typically going to need a new EIN, okay? So especially since the ATM business is not going to be a nonprofit, you want to file for an LLC and get a new EIN number also, okay? Think of it as that social security number for that entity, okay? You can't intermix them right? Unless you're just changing an address, that's a little different. But for the most part, when it comes to changing the structure or any major changes, you're going to need a new EIN. It's free from the IRS website. It takes about two minutes during business hours and you can do it that way. Okay. And that brings me to another point. Don't get confused when it comes to filing the, the EIN number. That's free. Okay. I'll share my screen one more time. So when it comes to the actual EIN number, go to the IRS website. What you'll notice is, I'm double checking, it says .gov at the end. What typically happens is when you want to type in EIN, which is the most typical way, look what pops up. With Google, people pay to rank their searches, okay? Now, if you're trying to profit off of people forming their LLC, what are you going to do? You're going to have your stuff pop up on the top. It's going to look like the IRS website. So all these are actually not the IRS website. So if I go here, for example, right? No knock on the company who's doing this, but they're going to charge you typically about $250 to file for your EIN number when it's free. And it looks pretty official. It's a boring website at the end of the day, and it looks like the IRS website. So it looks consistent. I can't tell you how many times clients have talked to me and they said, hey, you know, I thought you said that I, the actual EIN number was free. They want to charge me $300 for the service. I was like, are you sure? It's like, I think the IRS changed the rules. They show me the website. I say, stop what you're doing. Send me a screenshot, close that browser. They got your information, close it out. Do not pay. It's not free. Another thing, same thing right here, big website. They do that on purpose. It's nothing personal. It's business for them. They want to profit. So if you look at it, always double check that it's .gov at the end. And they're open till 10 p.m. Eastern time. So right now, if you filed for LLC and you say you're in Nevada where you got your information back immediately, technically, you can get your EIN number right now. Just apply online. It pops up. They do a step-by-step -step guide. And guess what? All that information I told you ahead of time that you want to know ahead of time, right? Like your address, the business, the people that are a part of it, and also the NAICS code. They're all going to ask you the same thing here. See? So it'll be very simple for you. Take you two minutes. Get your EIN for free and make sure you download a copy of that letter they give you, okay? Because it is extreme pain in the you know what to get a copy of that. Calling a government line, the 1-800 number, you're going to be on hold for two hours. Download that PDF ahead of time, okay? And I don't see any other questions. Phenomenal. Awesome. Phenomenal. All right, guys. So with that being said, give it a, a round of applause to get them. No, we can't hear you guys. All right, so... <laughs> If you guys are going to be successful, we got literally starting tomorrow, six months until 2022 is over. Yeah, that was quick, right? 
six months, guys. Go ahead and comment success. That's going to be S-U-C-C-E-S-S. Comment success if you're going to be successful in 2022. Doesn't matter if you're starting the ATM business. Maybe you want to start a new hobby. Maybe you just want to change your lifestyle. We can all be successful. So make sure you comment success because the first thing you need to do is actually think about it. Think about being successful every single day. When you wake up, when you go to sleep, tell yourself, I am going to be successful. Okay. The first person that has to believe in you is you. Then everybody else can come after. Okay. All right, guys. So let's go ahead and get started with this. We're going to be talking about OPM. That's going to be other people's money, how to leverage credit. Okay. Um, I think when I was growing up, I wasn't edu educated <clears throat> in leveraging credit. They don't teach you that in school. Okay. They don't teach you, Hey, if you have a certain credit score, this is what you need to do, especially when you want to apply for a business loan or business credit, or possibly every year you should take out uh, two personal credit cards to get to that 800 credit score uh, by your mid twenties. Right? No one told me that I had to figure all that out. So at the end of the day, I'm going to throw a little golden nuggets, your guys's way, and it's going to be good. So I'm going to do a share screen myself. And I'm going to drop some gems for you guys. If you guys have any questions, I'm going to go ahead and have, uh, get them, uh, read the comments and answer it for you as I do this. So I can get through this presentation because we only have a short amount of time, guys. Okay. So let me go ahead and make some adjustments on here. All right. Okay. And usually I have two screens when I do this, right? But like I said, guys, right now I'm currently um, in San Francisco uh, with my parents, last minute family emergency. But that's the good thing about being an entrepreneur. <clears throat> you don't have to work for anyone's schedule, guys. You can make it happen for you and your family. You can leave when you need to, right? And take your job with you. That's, that's the phenomenal part about this, okay? So if you guys uh, want to do this, you got, want to work from home, you guys want to work for yourself, you guys got to start today. There's not going to be a perfect time, guys. I'm telling you right now. I worked um, when I had COVID twice in uh, 2020. I still worked. Um, when uh, a family member passed away, uh, unfortunately, you know, I was able to take a day, but I have to be there for my teammates. OK, we're talking about the, the, the guys that work for me, that work for ATM together, that work for my tangible ATM business. Um, I have to be there because they have families to pay, too. So at the end of the day, you have to make these decisions for yourself. OK, guys, so let's go ahead. Other people's money using credit uh, leverage in the ATM industry, guys. Now, <coughs> excuse me. Number one, here are a couple of requirements. First, I'm going to talk about the 680 credit score. OK, now for anyone who has a 680 credit score. I have something for you, all right, which you're going to love, but we're going to wait just a couple minutes, okay? For anyone who doesn't have a 680 credit score, I also have something for you, okay? Now, this is an option, guys. I always tell people, look, whenever I talk to you, whenever you talk to me in person, we love to do face-to-face. -face. We love to do informational calls to uh, educate you, to provide value, and at the end of the day, you can see if you're the right fit for this business. So when we go ahead and have a, a conversation with you, I give everyone options. So one of your options, okay, if you do not have a 680 credit score, is you could get a funding option, okay? We work with a third-party service called Easy Consulting out of Beverly Hills, California. And they're able to actually fund your entire ATM business. Yes, it's phenomenal. So they only work with companies that have legitimate results. So we had to actually go through a screening process. Um, this is something that we actually just started, I believe, eight months ago. So ATM together is about a year and a half old. Okay, we started in January 2021, guys. So it's approximately a year and a half. I'm excited for it to get to two years because time just flies by. So this is what you need in order for the funding, guys. If you guys want to go ahead and do this, if you guys ever want to work with us here at ATM together, okay? Now, just so I can make it clear, if you have actual funds saved up for your business, okay, this is just an option. You don't have to use the funding if you don't want to. But 
if let's say you don't have the funds, but you want to leverage your credit and you qualify for this, go ahead and use it. Okay. 620 credit score, 40 K annual salary. All right. One year of employment guys. Now, if you're an entrepreneur already, you have multiple businesses right on two years of tax returns for entrepreneurs. Okay. They need to verify just your income that it matches the minimum qualifications, guys, and we'll get you funded on your business. There is no prepayment penalty, guys, meaning that if you pay it off early, guess what? You don't get charged any extra, okay? And your monthly payments will be as low as $180 up to $300 per month. You'll have a fully functional business, and I'll show you exactly what we will give you in just a couple minutes, okay? Now, <clears throat> I like to be transparent. If you do not qualify for the funding, if you don't have a 620 credit score, first off, number one, it's okay. Life happens. I understand that. I've been there, done that, been through ups, downs, uh, good, bad, uh, everything, okay? Life experience here. So if you don't qualify, do not attempt to start this business yet, okay? You will get there, I promise you. But fix your credit first, okay? Because that is gonna be your number one roadblock when you're trying to start this business because everybody, every company goes off your credit score. Even when you try to buy a house, even when you try to buy a car, everything goes off your credit score, guys. So if you have a credit score below 620, fix your credit and then come back to us and then you could go ahead and qualify for this funding option. You have the power to do this and start your business, okay? So don't tell or don't have anyone tell you otherwise, all right? With that being said, if you guys do want some help with your credit, we actually work with a third-party service. She is actually part of atmtogether.com. Her name is Andrea Rich. She could actually help you with your credit if you like. Now, if you do need help with your credit, go ahead and comment credit right now. That's going to be C-R-E-D-I-T. Comment credit, and I'm going to have Andrea personally reach out to you if you have a, a credit score of below 620 if you guys need help with your credit and all that jazz she could book an informational call with you and help you uh with the services that she does have she's a wonderful person and she's also an atm business owner and military veteran guys so phenomenal all right so let's go on to the next now for all my peoples that have a 680 and above credit score this is for you zero interest credit cards guys like I said, transparency. I always tell everyone, if you have a 680 and above credit score and you don't have that much debt, okay? Your debt to income ratio is good, okay? Meaning that, um, let's say you make $3,000 a month, that you're not doing credit card payments that are like $2,000, right? But if you're below that 30% mark, Okay, if you're if you're paying your bills under that thirty percent mark, then you're good. Okay, that's if you have it exactly six eighty. But if you have six eighty and above, I highly recommend to anyone to leverage credit because this is what I did. Okay, and when I started, <clears throat> I took out a zero interest credit card. It's a no brainer, guys. If you guys think about it, you could go with a credit card. Now, this is my uh, based on my experience and training. American Express Blue Cash Business Credit, guys. It's one of the best. And the reason why I say this, 0% 12 months, you get cash back as soon as you spend $3,000, you're gonna spend the money anyways. You might as well get the card, leverage the bank's money, OPM. And at the end of the day, once you have your business established, then guess what? You get to pay off the credit card with your surcharge profits, guys, okay? so. That is the best way to start any business by leveraging your credit. One, you're helping build your business credit. And then two, the cash that you do have saved up at the bank, you can leverage that to fill your ATM cash flow, right? Making your money work for you. All right. So 12 months, it's your free cash back after spending a certain amount. So usually the amount's around 3K. You're going to spend it anyways, ATMs. They're roughly anywhere between 21 to 2700 depending on what model and shipping costs, depending on what state, okay? Unfortunately, California, we get charged extra here for everything. So that's the way it goes. Um, and then as you guys can see right here from one through four, leverage on purchasing your initial setup. Uh, use the cash flow for your bulk cash. 
uh, pay off good debt. This is considered good debt, guys. When I was growing up, all debt was bad debt, okay? Uh, but typically, it was because most of the people that I grew up with, they would use the credit cards for material things, right? Uh, liabilities. Um, we, we didn't have the luxury that we do now online where we're exposed to all this information, which is phenomenal, right? I haven't been on social media for seven years, guys. I just started this project, ATM Together, in January of 2021. I got back on Facebook, April of 2020, believe it or not. OK, so um, I come back from from the time of MySpace, you know, when you would have your intro song and then um, you would just post like a flyer or whatnot on, on your page. And that's it. We didn't have all these valuable information that you guys have today. OK, so <clears throat> another thing you guys could do. Let's say you guys have a business partner. OK, and I love, love to tell people this. So let's say you have a business partner, but. They want you to facilitate the actual physical aspect of it, like installing the ATM, um, you going out there to find the location, right? Or you meeting with the business owner, your merchant, and then they give you the money, almost like a private investor, right? <clears throat> you can use their money to fill your ATM. You pay them a percentage of your surcharge fees. That way, it's clean. What do I mean by clean? I mean that you guys don't have to split the LLC, making it a partnership, making it more technical. And at the end of the day, you never know what's going to happen. Life happens, right? Family, friends, girlfriend, boyfriend, no matter. Keep it clean. Start your LLC. If you have a friend or a spouse or, or a family member that wants to invest into your ATM business, just make them an investor. You borrow their money to actually uh, as operating cash for your ATM business. And then when you make enough revenue to actually use your own cash, you can give it back unless you want to grow and expand your ATM business. Okay, guys. So if you guys haven't already, it's American Express Blue Cash Business Credit Card. Okay. I recommend everybody to go ahead and apply for that. Even if you don't have any business revenue, American Express is extremely friendly with first-time entrepreneurs. I always refer this to all my clients who want to work with me. I always tell them, look, go ahead and get that card. Okay, don't use your money. Use your money to fill your ATM. Use it as operating expenses. And then at the end of the day, you can just pay off that credit and you build your credit. Hey, who doesn't want that balloon coverage of 200 to a million dollars? You're sitting on credit, guys. Yes, we're talking about wealth. Okay, guys. All right, so let's go ahead into this. Now, if you guys have been hearing about ATM together, you guys are wondering like, what exactly is this, Paul? I know you started your ATM business roughly a little bit over five years ago, 30 locations, um, but what what is ATM together? So ATM together is the first ATM automation out there. What it is, is I brought in a group of experts throughout the country, guys, all right? And we actually help you build your ATM business in your city or state. Now, with that being said, we focus on four pillars. This is considered our ATM automation elite package. With that being said, it's our intro package. So every first time client has to go through this package, okay? After that, you guys actually get access to LR cart services, meaning that if you just want the ATM, we just sell you the ATM. If you just want the internet modem, we'll just provide you the internet modem. Maybe you got a hookup with ATMs, you, you network, right? And now you get ATMs for 50% off of somebody else. I'm not going to hold you down to buy my ATMs. Go ahead. I'm all about that. I'm all about networking. It's for you. Okay. This is your business. So with that being said, we give you unlimited processing network and we don't tie you down to no service agreement. So a little backstory on my experience. When I first started, I started with a major ATM corporation. They hooked me up with the first six ATMs that I purchased from my business. Up front, I saved about $200 per ATM. But on the back end, that's where they got me, guys. Literally, I paid $7,000 to get out of a three-year service agreement with this large corporation. Don't let that happen to you. Whoever you go with, whether it's with us or with any of our competitors or any other company, okay? Make sure you get free processing, meaning that they're not going to make a percentage off of your surcharge fee. That's one golden nugget. And then two, make sure 
that there is no contract, meaning that if you're if you want to leave, then leave. They shouldn't tie you down to any contract. Okay, guys, at the end of the day, all this is the same. This is what I always tell everybody. All this is the same. What it comes down to is ultimately the people that you work with. Just like when you go to work right now, for anyone who's currently working a nine to five, okay? I'm still a nine to five. I still have that mentality, okay? Because I've, I've done a majority of my life, all right? So people enjoy going to work sometimes. <laughs> I'm not saying everybody, all right? But most people do. It's mainly because you work with people that you like. If you didn't, you wouldn't like going to work, all right? So that's the same mindset with any services that you guys buy. Ultimately, this is why there are different companies out there, but people love working with us because we are a tight-knit community. We help each other. And at the end of the day, we utilize our resources to provide you great service. Meaning that if you're, let's say, in the Los Angeles area, okay, we're going to connect you with people in the Los Angeles area. That's just the way we roll, okay? We got connections nationwide, guys, okay? So we'll be able to help you out with that. So to, back, to go back to this, okay, one brand new ATM, as of right now, okay, we are doing the Gen Mega G2500 or the Hyacinth Halo 2, okay? Both brand new, two-year warranties. They hold up to $20,000. They uh, come uh, with a Bitcoin capab uh, capability program through Liberty X that you will have to contact Liberty X and activate. Um, so if you're into crypto, hey, there you go, right? One internet modem included. The only recurring charge that we're going to charge you guys is $5.99 per month. You get to choose between Verizon or AT&T. Okay. Unlimited processing network, like I said, for unlimited ATMs, meaning that after your first location, everybody always expands, guys. Okay. It's, it's uh, addicting. It's addicting. Okay. Making money while you sleep. So ultimately, uh, you get your, your first great location. Guess what? You're going to want your second, your third, your fourth, your fifth. You're going to want to build that generational wealth, right? So at the end of the day, we offer the unlimited processing. You're part of our membership for life. Okay. One location included. Now, the special part about this is that we work one-on-one -on -one with you guys, okay? I actually have a team that is assigned with you guys, okay? So before I get into that, let me go ahead and tell you the exact process that you're going to get as an elite member with us.